Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here. Today, we're at Disney Springs. Yes, at uh, Terralina Italian. It's been like over a year since we've been here. It has, so it's time to give them another shot. Honestly, it's been so long, I don't remember what I had it, so it I probably remember. wasn't memorable. I enjoyed my pasta here. Yeah, apparently, I didn't think it was all that great. So we're gonna go inside and hopefully they don't tear apart my Lina. Be sure to Bella Notte. You heard the girl. A beautiful tear and share 100% vegan bread. And I did ask for balsamic on the side, so I'm gonna tear. I'm gonna dip in the balsamic because balsamic is bay. And then it just drips down into the bread. I'm obsessed with bread. When I think of a standard Italian bread, this is the type of bread that I think about. This is an amazing bread that I could eat without sharing with Bear and enjoy thoroughly. I'm gonna give it um, four and a half out of five yeasties. Balsamic, I think, <laughs> takes it to another level, but it's still a good bread. I think we deserve three cheers for the princess and cat ears. Especially you, I know you want to like this video just for the cat ears, but either way. It's a bread only a mother could love. But at the same time, it's the bread only your mother can make. You just feel it. Not that math produced bread, this is bread made with love. A little dip. The moistness and the toastiness of it, the outer crust, that soft inside. That's how you do table red. Not generic rolls or loaf, something unique to you. Four out of five plus. See, I had a good friend once tell me that you judge an Italian restaurant by the Caprese salad. We're, we're gonna hold them to that because if this is bad, you're gonna hear it. Nice thick pieces of mozzarella, nice and fresh, got a little bounce to it. Little tomatoes, the drizzle in here, got a little spinach leaf. The ingredients are right, or is the flavor right? Ooh! Rolling the spinach, nice strong basil. Super fresh mozzarella, fresh tomatoes, and that drizzle. It's like a waltz in your mouth. It's a three and a half out of five claws for me. They're on a good track. I'm surprised by the two different types of tomatoes. Yeah, you got the big ones and the cherries. Here you have a uh, fried mozzarella rice ball. Probably the weirdest thing I've ever heard of, but I'm on board because I love all of those things. I'm thinking a mozzarella cheese stick, but with rice in it? Let's see how close we get with that. So I was exactly right. It's literally a mozzarella cheese stick with rice in it. But the rice gives it a nice texture. So it's not just cheesy goodness. There's still cheesy goodness there. But the rice gives it a nice texture that I'm kind of in love with. That's a four out of five applause. It was an odd appetizer, but I honestly am in love with it. Sangria time. This is a six tier sangria, so it's just as expensive as any other specialty drink here on the menu. It's a little more tart than Three Bridges. I don't think it's worth 16, maybe like 10. I'm gonna give it two and a half out of five red grapes. It's not fabulous. It's 
not um Qatar, but it's pretty close to Qatar. And the, you, as you know, if you've been on this channel for a while, this is a Qatar hate channel. This is the size of a wine glass or and or sangria glass should be. One single piece of fruit, which seems a bit weird to me for sangria. Smells like grape juice. Looks like grape juice. Does it taste like grape juice? Don't get you said it. Okay. It definitely tastes like it didn't come out of a box. It's not the favorite sangria I've had. The lemon is a bit of an odd choice on top of the sangria. And the way that they mix together, I'm not in love with. But it's definitely not the worst sangria I've ever had. I like the experimentation, but for me, it's a two and a half out of five points. The Revered Heritage, which looks like a fancy Gatsby style mark, or not mark, martini? Tastes bourbony and chocolatey. It feels like it belongs at the Edison. But I'm not a huge fan. I'm gonna give it a two out of five, I don't know what these are, drinks. Two out of five sips. Here we have what basically the construction amounts to an old fashioned in a different kind of glass. Does sort of give me that old school feel. The perfect fit for a Dapper Day Eve, hence the tie. Um, here's the thing you guys see me drink a lot of old fashions on this channel. I'm not in love with old fashioned. It's not my drink of choice. I'm an Irish whiskey kind of guy. But I continue to try to fall in love with something a bit elevated. I haven't had a lot of successes. A couple of rarities here with some like maple fashion things like that, but uh, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. It tickles your taste buds, and I'm not sure if it's in a good way. I don't waste bourbon, but I probably would not order this again. One and a half out of five bucks. It's a good ship pineapple pop. ice cream uh, popsicles that is like coconut and pineapple and like a whole lot of no. If you like coconut though, you could drink that. Me? That's a one out of five. Nuts? You're nuts to drink. I don't think I've ever had a Shirley Temple, or any variation thereof. It's very pink. I don't have a problem with pink. But it looks very deceiving. But I like the popcorn lights. You know, it's not bad. I don't mind it. It's a bit on the sweet side, and I'm not a huge fan of sweet cocktails, but it's got a certain something. It's not something I can order like every time I go out, but every once in a while, it's got a nice feel to it. Like a frolic in a field or something. Three out of five bars. Here we have a rather small uh, mushroom pasta. This is very different from the pasta that we had the last time that we came here. Where it was just like pick your pasta with a marinara. This is like an actual menu item. No sauce, lots of mushroom, lots of veggies. I'm not a mushroom fan, so I'm just gonna grab some pasta by itself. I still got mushroom in here, but you know what? When in Italy. It's very dry. 
dry. It's a little garlicky. There's no like oil or anything to help you along. You just been using pasta. Public up shrimp does a better job of pasta. I'm telling you. One out of five pastas, I would not come back for this. I'd rather have the dish that I had last time I came here. So, from the jump, I take issue with this. This is a $26 pasta. It's like twisted pasta with like drunk veggies. So I see the red peppers. I see some massive sized mushrooms. Uh, some cut up asparagus. It's, it feels like a... Uh, if any of you have ever lived between paychecks, it's like three days to payday and you have pasta and some leftover veggies. That's what you end up with. I'm not feeling the value here. But maybe it actually tastes good. I've been wrong before, I'm many times. Not this time, though. Let me know. The veggies are cooked perfectly. They're like cooked, but nice and like crispy. The mushrooms are fine. If you hate mushrooms, obviously, you're gonna have a problem with decision. The mushrooms are well cooked. They're really nice, hot, and warm, but it's basically olive oil and salt. If you're here, the drinks are good. I would not come here for this. Two out of five. Here we have the catch of the day, which is basically a salmon tower. So you have this, under this bed of uh, salmon hidden in the leaves, we have a juicy chunk of salmon on top of some fried pork ridges. So it's basically salmon and fries, salmon and frites. Salmon in the jungle. It's better than mashed potatoes, I guess. This is a little bit odd. Let's see how they do the fish. And again, I'm a bear. I love fish. If you ruin my salmon, we will fight. I will throw hands over bad salmon. Nice and flaky, you don't need a knife. got a good sear and it's good salmon but it's lacking any other flavors outside of that. Like this goes like salmon grilled with a little bit of lemon. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's cooked well. Let's try another bite with some of these uh, very dark looking potatoes. See a little tomato in there for good luck. And the potatoes are greasy. Very greasy. So if you bite into it, it great shoots out. Kind of remembering why I don't remember this place now. It's okay food. But to me, honestly, this, even though they start off with the salad, is a little better than Olive Garden. Also, two out of five plus. So we have a pork gnocchi, a nice, we had actually a decent sized portion, beautiful looking display. Don't think I've ever had pork gnocchi before, but it's an interesting idea, like little potato rolls with a load of pork in it, and some tomatoes. Let's give her a taste. No. It's got a good balance, maybe this should have been my main. Had a nice, Warm gnocchi, tomato sauce fits well without being acidic. And then the savoriness of like pork behind it, but not like a heavy pork. It's like light pork gnocchi with a decent sauce. I definitely think it's better than the salmon. Three and a half out of five plus.
voluntarily now. It was better the last time we came here. Take her word for it. Don't take mine. There's some good spots. The drinks are good. A bit overpriced. The food. Agreed. Uh, the atmosphere is more what this I'm here for. Mediocre. It was okay. Wasn't impressed. Probably won't come back to like the menu I said, changes. Not as good as the last time we came. Last time we were here on a limited menu. This time. I'm kind of on the fence about it, especially with Italian food being so prevalent this spring already. Agreed. Mm, probably try somewhere else. But maybe we're wrong. Let us know in the comments if there's anyone else you think does it better or you think this place is better. Just don't say paddlefish or I'll come for you. Uh, let us know in the comments. If there's any other place around Disney Springs you'd like to see us go, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. You heard the girl. I like this video. And if you don't comment, well, I guess you're not Zapper. You heard the girl.